dear students in my last class i completed second chapter electrostatic potential and capacitance today i'll start third chapter that is current electricity so before going to define what is electric current we shall discuss some basic things okay suppose if i consider a point charge which is at rest it produce electric field the region all around the charge so it produce electric field also called as electrostatic field which we learned in the first chapter itself okay suppose the same charge kept in uniform electric field you just imagine this line represents uniform electric field so i place a charge in the uniform electric field either it may be positive charge or negative charge so when the charge kept in uniform electric field this charge experience force what is the magnitude of the force f is equal to q into e even this equation also we learned in the first chapter itself so one more thing suppose if we set a charge to move in uniform magnetic field with a velocity v so like this look at this this is magnetic field the charge is moving with a velocity v makes an angle theta so what will happen it experience a force the magnitude of force is f is equal to b q v sin theta b q v sin theta so here charge is at rest it producing electrostatic field the space or region around it the same charge when kept in uniform electric field it experience a force what is the magnitude of force f is equal to q into e suppose if we set the charge to move in a magnetic field with a velocity v making an angle theta again the charge experience a force then what is the magnitude of the force b q v sin theta so for this we have one small expression you'll going to understand in the further classes when the charge is at rest it produce electric field suppose if the charge is moving when the charge start moving what it produce it produce magnetic field it produce magnetic field so these are the general things which we come across in the first chapter now i'll consider one metallic conductor iron rod or a copper rod okay consider as a metallic conductor we know that metallic conductor possesses plenty of free electrons and also atoms in the metallic conductor are closely packed like this so they are closely packed so this is nucleus 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 so it possesses 
many number of free electrons they are loosely bound with the nucleus they are loosely bound with the nucleus so these electron are called as free electron free electron free electrons also called as valence electron how do they become free due to room temperature they will get some energy due to room temperature they acquire some amount of energy when they acquire some amount of energy suppose this is outermost orbit of this atom this is the outermost orbit of this atom this is the outermost orbit of this atom when they acquire some amount of energy because of room temperature the outermost electron start jumping from outermost orbit of one atom to the another atom like this like this they are moving in random motion not in a particular direction i'll write one more diagram metallic conductor so they start moving like this in a irregular manner not in particular direction so in this way they are moving in random motion suppose if we make this electron to move in a particular direction what we will get we will get electric current or if we set this electron to move in a particular direction they constitute current or nothing but electric current the meaning of current is nothing but flow then what is electric current it's a flow of electric charges it is the flow of electric charges how can we set this electron to move in a particular direction i have to set electric field so to this metallic conductor two ends are there no across the two ends of the metallic conductor i'll connect a battery or a cell any source of current what are the source of current either it may be battery or it may be cell or it may be generator or it may be dynamo so here i consider a battery so battery is connected across the two ends of the conductor in which the electrons are moving in irregular manner they are moving in random motion one thing you have to make a note if the charges are moving in a random motion in the metallic conductor they do not constitute any electric current okay so your electric field is applied when the electric field is applied what will happen electric field is set up in the metallic conductor in the metallic conductor so this is in the absence of electric field which means not at connected you just imagine not at connected so they are moving in random motion electric field won't be there initially electric field won't be there they are moving in random motion if we connect what will happen if we connect across the two ends of the metallic conductor what will happen let's see now so current is flowing from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery and the electric field set up in this direction so electron experience a force or 
this electric field exerts a force on electron they start moving in particular direction look at the diagram look at the diagram see they are moving in irregular order in random motion when there is no electric field is applied across the metallic conductor soon after connecting a battery across the two end of the metallic conductor electric field set up in the metallic conductor and the electrons are start moving in one particular direction then they constitute electric current so we can define electric current as electric current can be defined as rate of flow of electric charges see electric current can be defined as rate of flow of electric charges mathematically i can write the equation i is equal to q divided by t so this is a mathematical expression for electric current how can we measure a strength of electric current in the metallic conductor by using si unit ampere so ampere is the si unit to measure strength of electric current in the metallic conductor and even the charges may flow through the metallic conductor through the electrolytic substances even in the gases so this is very basic information regarding electric current so look at charges at rest producing electric field when the charge kept in uniform electric field it experience a force f is equal to q into e if we set the charge to move in the magnetic field with a velocity v it experience a force that is b q v sin theta when the charges are start moving they produce a magnetic field and look at here in case of metallic conductor due to the thermal excitation or due to the room temperature electron can may jam from one atom to the neighboring atom they start moving in random motion when they are moving in irregular motion that is a random motion they do not constitute any electric current if the same charges set into a particular direction like this they constitute electric current so we can state like this electric current can be defined as rate of flow of electric charges now we'll see types of current first one steady current first i'll explain what is steady current then i'll give the definition now i'll consider a metallic wire just imagine this is a metallic wire or a conducting wire a and b are the two ends okay the charges are flowing through the wire from one end to the other end suppose in first second the magnitude of the charge that flow through the wire or that flow through the conductor or that flow through the metallic conductor or metallic wire is for example 2 coulomb in the next once again the charge that flows through the conductor again 2 coulomb the next once again 
if the charge that flow through the metallic conductor is 2 coulomb then what is the current I is equal to Q by T is the equation in the first second what is the magnitude of the charge that is 2 so what is the current 2 amps in next one second the current that flow through the metallic wire is 2 so what is the current 2 amps the next one second what is the current that flows through the metallic wire that is 2 so what is the current 2 a look at here the magnitude of the current is same the magnitude of the charge that flows through a conductor is same every second such current are called steady current so I can write the statement like this the magnitude of flow of charges through a conductor remains same or constant every second such current is called as steady current I can represent graphically see along x axis time and along y axis current here once again next one second that is 2 3 4 and 5 2 coulomb 4 coulomb 5 coulomb 2 coulomb 4 coulomb 6 coulomb for an example I am giving the numerical values in first once again what is the magnitude of the charge that flow through the metallic wire 2 next once again 2 and next once again 2 only so you will get the graph like this so it is said to be steady current move to the next type that is varying current varying current ok so here also I will consider a metallic wire or a conductor of end A and B the same procedure I will follow suppose in first second the magnitude of the charge that flows through the metallic wire is 2 coulomb in next once again 4 coulomb next once again 6 coulomb in next once again again it may be 4 coulomb it may increase or decrease but one thing you can notice keep on changing then what will be the current I is equal to Q by T in first once again what is the magnitude of the charge that is 2 so 2 amps in next once again what is the magnitude of the charge 4 so 4 amps in next once again what is the magnitude of the charge that flows through the metallic wire that is 6 6 amps so what is in the next one second what is the magnitude of the charge again it decreases 4 so 4 amps so keep on changing so what is the statement can write the magnitude of flow of charges through a conductor changes 
every second. Either in increasing order or in decreasing order. So every second the magnitude of the charge which flows through the metallic conductor changes. As the magnitude of the charge which flows through the conductor changes, then current also changes. So graphically I can show like this along x-axis time along y-axis current so increasing order like this or decreasing order like this. graphical representation for varying current. Varying current means the magnitude of the current varies each second or the magnitude of flow of charge through a conductor changes every second. Whereas in case of steady current the magnitude of flow of charge through a conductor remains same every second. As the flow of charge through the metallic conductor remains same, current also same. So it is said to be steady current and it is said to be varying current. Now third type direct current DC. Now what I will do means the two ends of metallic conductor that is A and B connected to a battery. This is positive terminal of the battery, negative terminal of the battery. So look at this. This is the direction of current from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery. So in case of direct current also, in first second, the current that flow from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery, what is the magnitude? It may be 2 amps. In next one second, 2 amps. The next one second, 2 amps. And all the times the current is moving from or flowing from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal in a single direction positive terminal to the negative terminal. Such current is said to be direct current. So what is the statement? Magnitude and direction of current remains same or constant. See both the magnitude is not changing 2 amps, 2 amps, 2 amps. Even the direction of the current is always from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery such current are said to be direct current that is DC. Magnitude and direction of current remain same. Graphical representation for direct current. Two amps 4 amps, 6 amps for an example, for once again 2 amps, next once again 2 amps, next once again 2 amps only in a single direction. You may notice the graphical representation regarding direct current is same as that of the graphical representation which we studied for steady current. But one difference is there. In steady current, we discussed only magnitude of flow of charges, not a direction. 
but here we are particular about the direction of current also look at the statement magnitude and direction of current remain same in case of direct current so this represents a graphical picture regarding direct current next one alternating current ac okay so here a metallic wire of end a and b is connected to an ac source look at the symbol this symbol represents ac source whereas this symbol represent dc source dc suppose if it is like this ac so here the metallic wire is connected across ac source this end 1 end 2 suppose the current which is flowing from end 1 to the end 2 now initially it is flowing the maximum current that flows from one end of the ac source to the another end of the ac source is for example 3 amps then how the current flows like this initially started with 0 then 1 amps then 2 amps then 3 amps then again 2 amps then 1 amps then again 0 from 1 to 2 one end of the AC source to the other end of the AC source so it is started from 0 here 1 amp 2 amp sorry started from here 0 1 amp 2 amp 3 amp again 2 amp 1 amp 0 during the first half of the cycle in the next half of the cycle the current start flowing from the second end of the AC source to the first end of the AC source there also the same thing 0 1 amps 2 amps 3 amps 2 amps 1 amps again 0 but the direction 2 to 1 then what is the graphical representation so like this Yes. started from 0 it reaches maximum what is the maximum current we consider 3 amps again it start decreasing 2 amps 1 amps 0 during the first half of the cycle during the second half of the cycle means it changes the direction from end 2 to the end 1 the first one is end 1 to the end 2 during the second half of the cycle again it's increasing 1 amp 2 amp 3 amp 2 amp 1 amp 0 so like this it alternate so what is the statement the magnitude of current changes periodically and direction changes alternatively the magnitude of current changes periodically look at the value and the direction changes alternatively in this way such current is said to be alternating current anyhow in detail you will learn more things regarding alternating current because we have a separate chapter as alternating current in the second PUC okay so these are the types of current 
स्टडी करेंट वेरिंग करेंट डायरेक्ट करेंट एंड ऑल्टरनेटिव करेंट स्टडी करेंट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज थ्रू अ कंडक्टर रिमेन्स सेम एवरी सेकेंड वेरिंग करेंट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज थ्रू अ कंडक्टर चेंजेस एवरी सेकेंड डायरेक्ट करेंट द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ करेंट रिमेन सेम ऑल्टरनेटिंग करेंट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ करेंट चेंजेस पीरियोडिकली एंड डायरेक्शन चेंजेस ऑल्टरनेटिवली सो दिस आर अ वेरी बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इन माई नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल डिस्कस मोर इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी थैंक यू